road construction. Yes, three weeks ago or so, we had snowstorms, ice storms, below freezing temperatures. Three weeks later, it's getting warmer. It's in the 70s almost every day. That's right, there's a new season coming. It's road construction season. <laughs> and I think Oklahoma is outdoing themselves this year. I've got a serious question I wanna ask here in a minute. But first, let me tell you what I'm doing, what I'm going through in Oklahoma on my run. If you don't know, I go Dallas to Billings, Oklahoma, straight up I-35 and back every day. Now, aside from the occasional pop-up construction that's gonna happen in Dallas, and a couple places here in Oklahoma, those you sail right through. There's two construction areas going north and south, they're at the same place. And then there's one up in Oklahoma City just going north that I have to deal with every day. And they just all kind of sprung up at the same time. If y'all come this way at all, you'll know in Paul's Valley, about the 72 mile marker, they redid the northbound bridge last year and it was a mess when we are coming up here. And that's done, but now they're doing a southbound. So that if you're coming south, they're gonna put you off southbound on the northbound side, so it's one lane either way. And usually in the morning, when I get up there, it's not too bad. I can get through there in three or four minutes of a delay, it's not too bad. But coming back every day, it's a mess. It's eight, 10 minutes coming back through extra that it gives me. Now, before I get to that going northbound, about the 61 just north of the old scale house that's there. It's the same thing, they're redoing the bridge on both sides, but they're not putting you across to go one lane. They're just shutting one lane down on either side. And it's always really bad. I mean, in the morning, not as bad, but coming back southbound, it's 15 minutes of a delay coming back through there. And there's a difference in those two, and I'm going to ask that question here in a minute. But when I get up to Oklahoma City, right before I, we're not, we're I-35 and 40 come together, they're doing some work on the right lanes there. And that's not a horribly bad five, eight minutes getting through there. But you add it all up, I'm 30 to 45 minutes extra every day on my run now, <clears throat> which I guess I can't complain. I mean, everybody complains about road, road construction, right? I mean, they complain about when the roads are bad and they should do something about these roads. But then they complain when they fix them because they're holding them up. Anyway, do they do? are they supposed to do them at night? Should they do them in the daytime or do they do them 24-7? I don't know. But my question is for truck drivers, because that's who I hear from the most. You come up to a construction zone one lane's open, you're gonna lose a lane. Coming back south through Paul's Valley, the road signs say, stop traffic ahead, delay ahead, and there's a flashing sign that says, use both lanes. Now what they want you to do is, they want you to use both lanes till you get up right before it, you lose a lane, and then do like a zipper, one at a time merge in there. That's what they want you to do. I've read articles that say supposedly that's the most efficient way to do it. I don't know. Keep coming south to get to that one of the 61. There's no signs like that. So half the time you'll get a truck driver and this is what we've been doing forever is say the right lane's closed you get a truck driver in the left lane next to another truck and they hold all the four wheelers back from jamming up in there and, and merging in like the other construction zone wanted you to do. Which is faster? Which is better? I don't know. I don't know if I can tell that much difference. I'm undecided on the subject. Uh, I'm sure I'll get opinions that say, blocking that lane off is faster, everybody gets flowing quicker. Well, I don't know. You merge there or do you merge up at the, where the lane closes? I don't know. but. That's my rant on road construction for today. I guess we're going to be dealing with it all summer. Remember, try not to complain too much because you complain when their roads need to be fixed. And then we complain when they're fixing them. So, 
That's all I have for today. Go down in the description, check out all my links, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, like the video, share the videos. We'll see you later.